Hello, good morning. This is Breakfast with Charlie State and Louise Minchin. Very good morning. Uh, let's tell you about our main story this morning, and there's been international condemnation of Syria. A fall in police numbers is likely to have contributed to a rise in serious crime. That is according to a leaked Home Office document. It comes as Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook's 33-year-old boss prepares to face a grilling by a Senate panel. To the information um, commissioner later here on Breakfast as well, so get more information from her about exactly uh, what's out yeah, there and what we can do about it. She should be seeing you on that beach and just lucky you. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. 17 minutes past six time now. Nina's back with us now for a look through the papers. Welcome back. The crow man who was in charge man, yeah. of all the scarecrow. They will indeed. Um, let's catch up on the weather here and Carol has another beach. Not, possibly not so warm though. Morning. Sit in the car and not get out of it to listen to the end of the chapter. <laughs> that is fine, it's <laughs> Thank working. You. Thanks very much. But it was a hip hop musical from across the Atlantic about the US founding father, Alex Hamilton. A fall in police numbers is likely to have contributed to a rise in serious crime. This is according to a leaked Home Office document. The government uh, will set out new measures to tackle the issue later. Jessica Parker has this report. This information that you will be given mm. about what you shared, yes. just explain, what, 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 what will this look like? Uh, let's talk a little bit more um, about our main story. And several people have died after a Syrian military airport was hit by missiles. From today, uh, Facebook users in the UK will find out whether their data has been improperly shared with the political consultancy Cambridge Analytica. So looking out uh, at the beach there, seeing the medal as yeah. Well, but rather stark contrast, that is, or what? I mean, what if a company, you know, you're, you're saying good companies, responsible companies are grasping that now. Because is there a risk there that you do something in the UK and, as you say, you know, it is a global problem and you can't shut down things in other places. Just to let you know, I'm here in a few minutes' time, actually, we'll be speaking to Victoria Aitkins. She's a crime minister about all the implications of that. A vigil has been held in the Canadian city of Humboldt to honour the 15 people who were killed in a bus crash. A leaked Home Office presentation seen by the BBC suggests that a wave of violence is likely to have been linked to a fall in police numbers. If of these be true, what I've just said? To according to this leaked document, which I'm sure you've seen, and I'll read from it, it says, So resources dedicated to serious violence have come under pressure, charge rates have dropped. How important in all of this is stop and search? Also talk about other things because I know you're making an announcements today. Pati particularly, let's talk about corrosive substances. What are you going to stop listening to that? She's in uh, North London for us this morning, meeting with people who've been affected directly by violent crime as well. Morning, Steph. She's very much looking at this, and she stressed she was looking at not just those two companies, other companies as well. I mean, is this the start, do you think, of, of a big change? Patients who joins us from Beirut, and we know that there's this UN meeting later now. Syria saying one of their uh, yes. So everything's OK. <laughs> yes. You just have to say yes. It's always a risk, isn't it? It's always a risk. 834. Um, um, because we've heard lots of them talking about how lovely it is that, you know, everybody's in together and how everybody learns from each other as well. So would you like it to continue? Go. Take us back to that moment. So this is Melbourne. Yes. Where, where the, you know, I know you, you're involved with some of the... Hello, welcome back. You're watching Breakfast at Morning Again. Now, they were tasked with espionage and reconnaissance. Oh, she's scary. So like <laughs> <laughs> We're joined now by um, former British Army Brigadier Nicky Muffet. Slightly unusual is that, that it, back in the day, they were recruited from all walks of life. We will be back here at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.